Do you have trouble waking up in the morning? Is your phone not cutting it? You could have fun waking up with a Nerf Target alarm clock. Did you like this clock from the teaser? If you stick around, I'll show you how to make your very own Nerf Dart sensor. And to do that, we're gonna use a piezo crystal. Let's get started. Some natural and man-made materials generate charge when deformed. It is called piezoelectricity. The atoms in a piezoelectric crystal lattice are arranged in a way that cause like charges to group together when under stress. The piezoelectric effect works in both ways. So you can generate charge by deforming a piezoelectric material or deform the material by applying voltage to it. So you can use it as a microphone or a speaker or a variety of other things. For example, the first sonar machine used a quartz crystal to generate and detect vibrations in water. Our Nerf Dart sensor will use a piezo crystal to spy on the vibrations happening in a piece of cardboard. I glued a piezo crystal to a piece of cardboard and then suspended the cardboard so that it's free to vibrate. Wire the piezo crystal in parallel with two LEDs pointing in opposite directions and connect that to the analog pin of the Arduino or an oscilloscope. I'll explain what the LEDs are for in just a bit. This is an oscilloscope and we're going to use it to see the output of our Nerf Dart sensor. You may recognize it from the background of your favorite sci-fi movies. All you need to know about an oscilloscope is that the horizontal axis plots time and and the vertical axis plots voltage. As I throw Nerf darts at the target here, we see we get these voltage spikes. And the amplitude of the voltage spikes is plus and minus two volts, which is the operational voltage of the LEDs. And that's what they're there for. If the voltage at the piezo crystal gets too high, the LED will turn that extra energy into light and heat and keep the voltage at a safe two volts for the Arduino. What I wanna see now is I wanna zoom in on one of these spikes and, and learn more about it. All right, now when we zoom in, we can see a very clear oscillation that happens every time a Nerf dart hits the target. And I've lifted a lot of these, it's very consistent. Let's catch another one. Do this. You got it. There you go. Now that I can actually see the, the output of the sensor, I can start to brainstorm an algorithm to detect dart hits. And something that's interesting is uh, a finger tap looks pretty different. So you can see it's, it's very slow and very different than a, than a crisp dart contact. So what I want to do with the Arduino is um, I think that if I count these oscillations, I can use that as a proxy for a good dart hit. And um, we can require that the, hap that the oscillation happens very quickly um, at, at this kind of speed in order to reject finger taps. And uh, one quick caveat is uh, we gotta remember that the Arduino can only sense voltage from zero to five volts, and this is oscillating between negative two and positive two volts. So the Arduino basically will see this. It'll only see the positive voltages in this signal. But um, I, think, I think that's fine. I, we can just count the number of peaks where the voltage climbs up. So uh, now to program the dart sensor, we'll go to the whiteboard.
All right, here's the finished clock. Um, it tells time with like an hour hand, so right now it's saying a little bit past nine. Uh, to set the hour, I push on the knob, and now I'm setting the hour. Uh, red means PM and blue means AM, so I'll set it back to nine. This sets the minute, so I, maybe I'll change the time from nine ten to nine uh, twenty. I use this to set the alarm. And this engages or disengages the alarm. So uh, the, the minus sign means that the alarm is off, and the plus sign means that the alarm is on. So I'll leave it off right now. I can also force the alarm to go by holding this button down. And to turn it off, you use darts. I actually haven't been using the alarm. My favorite part about this project is that it's always there, ready to go as a Nerf target. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more and let me know if you have any thoughts or questions about the project. See ya.